Good morning everyone. This is Prince Kamal Kiran, Ashton Professor, Wits Engineering College. And uh, today I am here to teach you uh, basic surveying, which is an important topic in civil engineering, civil engineering department. Okay, and this surveying is known as, is also called as the heart of a civil engineer. Why? Because surveying plays an important role in a civil engineer's day-to-day -day life. And how it plays an important role in a civil engineer's day-to-day -day life is, for example, if you start to construct or to do any work on a in the construction industry, the first activity going to be done is surveying. Okay, and uh, here surveying. What do you mean by surveying? The art of determining. Determining the relative positions on or beneath the earth surface is known as surveying. Here we are going to have two different terms that is on or beneath the edge surface and here what do you mean by on or beneath the edge surface and coming to on or beneath the edge surface where we conduct the uh, surveying on or beneath the edge surface why because we are going to the, uh, do the surveying on the surface of the earth and at the same time or beneath the surface of the earth here what we call on or beneath the surface of the earth here, suppose for, uh, for example, we are going to perform surveying on the top of the edge surface and at the same time in the bottom of the edge surface. Bottom of the edge surface. What do you mean by on or beneath the edge surface means? For example, some types of surveys are going to be performed on the surface of the earth and few of them are going to be conducted beneath the edge surface. Why do we conduct on the surface of the earth and also on the beneath of the earth surface? For example, on the surface of the earth. Why we conduct on the edge surface? Because for calculation of areas and for measuring the distance between two points or two stations, we are going to conduct the surveying on the edge surface. And also for leveling activities, uh, to calculate the leveling uh, between two points, the levels between the two points. Where do we uh, use these levels is in the construction of roads. Okay, now let us discuss about on the surface of the earth, surveying on the surface of the earth. For which activities we are going to do the surveying on the edge surface. For example, for calculation of calculation of areas, measurement of distance, measurement of distance between two points or stations for the measurement of distance between two points or stations and also at the same time for leveling purpose leveling purpose and here for measurement of or for the calculation of areas for me uh, to know what is the area lying between four points or four stations we are going to do surveying and at the same time for the calculation of distance between two points or two stations that means from one point to another point how much the distance is there to calculate that one we are going to do surveying and at the same time for leveling purpose why do we perform surveying for leveling purposes for example when we are going to construct a new road For construction of new roads, we need to do leveling survey. Why we are going to do the leveling survey is to know uh, to make the elevations and depressions to minimize the elevations and depression uh, depressions on the earth surface, and at the same time for a for a free or smooth flow of traffic on the 
road on which the vehicles are going to be moved and at the same time for the construction of canals or uh, canals uh, to move the water with the gravitational energy or gravitational force without any external forces we are going to do leveling so that the water flows from one position from one point to another point without any external energy and uh, and for the alignment of railway tracks we are going to do leveling surveys and all those beneath the earth surface where do we do why do we can uh, do surveying beneath the earth surface means for the calculation of resources natural resources which are present inside the ground surface to calculate the uh, volume of that particular mineral which a uh, mineral or some other resources which are available inside the earth surface well, for what extent it is available and how much quantity is available we are going to do that one and for the alignment of tunnels we are going to do the surveying inside the earth surface these are the things we are going to do in surveying and here the surveying is again of different types here what are the different types of surveys available is chaining by using of chains tapes edm and other instruments which we are going to use is ranging rods arrows picks these are the instruments which are going to be used for ranging or chaining for the calculation of areas on the earth surface or for the measurement of distance between two points we are going to use these different types of instruments for the calculation of areas and also for the measurement of distance between two points and here chain tapes and edm electronic distance measurement device okay these are the three different instruments which are used for calculation of distance or for the calculation of areas and other instruments which are going to be used for surveying is ranging rods arrows and picks these are the minor instruments which we are going to use for the calculation of areas as well as the calculation of distance between two points and okay now let us discuss about the chain surveying the main instrument used in chain surveying is a chain and this chain is made up of a mild steel material and by using of this chain we are going to measure the distance between two points or two stations and here what are the different types of chains available is revenue chain metric chain gunter's chain engineer's chain these are the four different types of chains available by using of uh, these four different types of chains we can do the surveying and here these four chains are not same and here the purpose of using these different four different types of chains is different for some activities we are going to use revenue chain for some activities metric chain gunter's chain and engineer's chain and the lengths of these chains are going to be changed and no two chains are of same length the link length the distance between two links or the length of two links is different so we are going to discuss about this one in our next class and another instrument used is ranging rods okay these are the ranging rods which are going to be fixed at the stations where the survey is to be performed at the end points we are going to fix these ranging rods so that we can identify the stations easily and these ranging rods are made up of wood or steel and in the old days they have used wood because uh, the availability of wood was very good and uh, a, a good wood is used for the manufacturing of ranging rods and later on now these ranging rods are available by uh, with the steel and this these material uh, these steel you can see this okay ranging rods another instrument is ranging rods okay these ranging rods these ranging rods are made up of wood and steel okay the ranging rods 
in the olden days these ranging rods are manufactured by using of wood and uh, at that time the availability of wood was very adequate and due to that one they have manufactured the ranging rods by using of wood a well seasoned timber is used for the manufacturing of ranging rods and in the later on they are been replaced the wood is been replaced by using of steel and nowadays we are going to get the ranging rods made up of steel and here these ranging rods the length of these ranging rods is one uh, starting from one meter and up to a height of three meters the ranging rod uh, height is available and uh, the ranging rod is colored in two different bands that means either white and orange or white and yellow or white and black or black and yellow these are the four different uh, colors available and here why do we use ranging rods with multiple colors is so for example this is a ranging rod and here these colors are called the either it is with white and this is with another color red or orange and these are called as bands for a good visibility these bands are provided and the bottom part the bottom part of the ranging rod is called as shoe and is a sharp pointed one which is fixed in the ground surface for direction of these ranging rods okay and another instrument used for chain surveying is arrows and these arrows will, will be of length 50 centimeters 15 centimeters to 50 centimeters and uh, these ranging uh, these arrows are in the shape of a question mark like this and the bottom part is sharp and these are used for fixing of intermediate stations and the upper one is called as head here for a holding purpose we are going to provide this one and these are made up of mild steel and another one is pegs these pegs are made up of iron or wood and these the shape of these pegs is like this like this and these are made up of wood and these pegs are used for fixing of stations after doing the survey or for fixing some other points we are going to use these pegs these pegs are made up of uh, wood and uh, wood. and these are up to 15 to 30 centimeters height nowadays the usage of these wooden pegs has been decreased they are now these are replaced by using of some uh, iron rods or something else uh, by using of those materials we are going to use uh, by using them we are going to fix the stations and these are the four different instruments main instruments which we are going to use in chain surveying and in our next class we are going to discuss about all the different types of chains and ranging rods arrows and pegs individually and uh, the lens uh, what are the different lens available in these chains and all those things and uh, we can also have different parts in a chain that means we are having different parts in a chain what are the different parts of a chain what is the joint uh, is called uh, joint which is joining the handle and the uh, chain what we call it as and uh, what is the length of a link uh, and what are the tallies and all those things we are going to learn in our next class regarding all these experiments thank you